Welcome to Lesson 021 of Online School of Entrepreneurship. I am Dr. Kirian Mfam. In today's lecture, we will dwell on Thomas Cochrane's cultural values, change in group level pattern, exposure, and political system choice of entrepreneurship. Upon completion of this lecture, our audience will be able to one discuss Thomas Cochrane's cultural values theory of entrepreneurship. Two, discuss change in group level pattern theory of entrepreneurship. Three, discuss exposure theory of entrepreneurship. And four, discuss political system theory of entrepreneurship. In this series of our lecture on entrepreneurship theories. We will concentrate on Thomas Cochrane's cultural values, change in group level pattern, exposure, and political system theories of entrepreneurship. Since we have discussed economic, psychological, sociological, anthropological, opportunity based, resource based, innovation, effectuation, lab and stance ex efficiency, risk bearing, Max Weber and Hedging's theories of entrepreneurship in our previous lessons. Thomas Cochrane's cultural values theory of entrepreneurship. The key propositions in Thomas Cochrane's theory are cultural values, role expectations, and social sanctions. According to him, the entrepreneur represents society's model personality. His performance is influenced by the factors of his own attitudes towards his occupation, the role expectations held by sanctioning groups, and the operational requirements of the job. The determinants for the first two factors are the society's values. Changes over time in such variables as population, technology, and institutional drift will impinge on the road structure by creating new operational needs. In most countries, entrepreneurs have emerged from a particular socio-economic class. The Protestant ethnic of the West is said to have contributed to the emergence of a new class of industrialists. It can be noted that various communities and kids like Samora in Japan family pattern in France, Yoruba in Nigeria, Kikuya in Kenya, Christians in Lebanon, Helai Memon industrialists in Pakistan, Persis, Mawaris, and Gujaratis in India have been the sources of entrepreneurship. Change in group level pattern theory of entrepreneurship. Young defined entrepreneurs as that person whose characteristics are found in small groups with wherein individuals develop as entrepreneurs. Young arrived at the group level pattern behavior entrepreneurs based on his studies known as thematic appreciation tests on groups of entrepreneurs. The test revealed the tendency to describe the situation as a problem to be solved an awareness of pragmatic effort required, confidence in their own ability to solve the problem, and a tendency to take the viewpoint of each individual in turn, and analyze the situation as he might see it before suggesting an outcome. Young's theory is a theory of change based on society's incorporation of reactive subgroups. A group becomes reactive when the following three conditions coincide. One, when denied access to important social networks. Two, when a group experiences low status recognition. And three, when the group has better institutional resources than other groups in the society at the same level. Exposure theory of entrepreneurship. Many studies have shown that it is the exposure to new ideas and opportunities 
towards creativity and innovation, which leads to, to create a new venture. There is adequate empirical evidence to prove its validity. Tripartite party has observed that exposure to new ideas and values were the common factor between Parsi and Hindu entrepreneurs, which led them to entrepreneurship. Education has played a very significant role in exposing the Indian entrepreneurs to wasting ideas, leading them to entrepreneurship. It is also the differential responses of the social groups to opportunities provided by the commitment of the political system to industrialization that has led the process of entrepreneurial spread. Political system theory of entrepreneurship. The political system can create adequate infrastructure, favorable laws, favorable taxation system and, and procedures, provide incentives and subsidies, security to entrepreneurs, create promoting policies and can encourage people towards entrepreneurship. Government can also build supporting system for potential entrepreneurs. Thus, the commitment of political system can contribute meaning significantly towards entrepreneurial development. According to Jose Lights, Japanese entrepreneurs could flourish because their political system was able to properly integrate with various sectors such as the industrial and agricultural, large, small and handicraft industries, labor intensive and capital intensive technology, traditional and modern social structure. Also, there was no colonial disruption. According to Boulding, political structure was the decisive factor in entrepreneurial growth of France and Russia. But before 1917, it did not flourish because the creative ability of masses could not find expression. Hosalites argued that France lagged behind entrepreneurially because his political system did not provide sufficient incentives and security to entrepreneurs. In the course of this lecture, and in line with our instructional objectives, we were able to one, discuss Thomas Cochrane's cultural values theory of entrepreneurship. Two, discuss change in group level pattern theory of entrepreneurship. Three, discuss exposure theory of entrepreneurship. And four, discuss political system theory of ent entrepreneurship. If you have any difficulty in, in understanding any topic on entrepreneurship, do please send us a message on Facebook so we can research and help you out. Go to our Facebook page, Online School of Entrepreneurship, and study entrepreneurship at no cost. Please support us by one, following us on our Facebook page, Online School of Entrepreneurship. Two, subscribing to our YouTube channel, Entrepreneurship Teacher. And three, liking, commenting, and sharing our posts. Thank you and see you in our next lecture.